Hello, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Part 9. Yay, we're finally going below ground! And then further below ground! And then deeper than that! Anyway, here's our boss in this underground area. I actually, I remember when I first He's played dead. this game... Oh, yeah, that was quick. <laughs> when I first played this game, I, uh... This was like one of the uh, next areas I went to really, really early on, so I got killed here. Anyway... That was not the actual boss. That was just a piece of the final of this area's boss. This area's boss is over here. Ooh, if you have a, uh... I remember I I, re I destroyed this boss using. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, you can actually hide back here. She's already dead. I said she was a hard boss. God damn it, Matt! You're making me look bad. Well, <laughs> anyway, here's a new cloak, the Crystal Cloak. This one actually has a neat effect to it. It Sem says that it's semi-invincible. Invisible. What it actually means is that, in an actual TV, it's actually flickering. So it's providing the illusion that it's kind of transparent. Yeah. So to be honest, I kind of like its actual look without the flickering. Also, another sword plus one. Yeah, because we need another one of those. Of course. Anyway, it's time to meet the, our good friend again. Go down this hole I opened up way back when. And we get stabbed by an icicle. Granted, at this point, it's like... Right. Wow, really? Yep. You only appear if you've got the merman statue. It has use? That is its entire point. To move this what guy. The? How did you not? You were crouching. I let go of Duck. So when I stood up, I was actually in the wrong spot. Huh. Okay. So rather than getting crushed, because the game, uh, you just simply get pushed through the boat. Yeah. Typically, if you warp to a spot where Alucard can't stand up, he'll just say what and stay ducking. Anyway, you do actually need the ferryman to open that door. So you absolutely have to get it. Anyway, and what's your reward for doing all that? It is the Holy Snorkel. I mean, Holy Symbol. Right. I swear, it looks like a snorkel. It It is a snorkel. It is a snorkel. That's my thought. Anyway, you can now breathe underwater for some reason. Well, the snorkel is a snorkel. Anyway, because I don't have to. It's snorkel is it. just like a snorkel to me. <laughs> hey, anyway, that I'll... reference, ladies and gentlemen. If you guess correctly and post it in the comments, we will reward you with 1,500 points. No, I'm always going to give out 1,000. I say 1,500 thought... points because I like to go with increments of 500. I give them 1,000 points apiece. And then we move on to a game called Party Quarks. Yeah, there's a few hidden items under the water now that you can actually explore it without drowning. Eh, well, that makes sense. Ooh, Knuckle Duster, which is not as good as the Jewel Gauntlet. Yes. <laughs> it has been obsolete before it was ever saw. Oh, good job, Sword. That's two! He's got two kills under his belt. Yes, two down, compared to the fairies. Fairies! And especially the last familiar, who will not go named because fuck him, he's useless. Hey, he opens a door for you. Now that different fit. The last familiar I pick up, we've only got three. The next familiar is actually really good. Oh, is that the devil? Yes. Yeah, you actually oh, need deep. that to explore the area, the the game fully. Yeah. What the last it's one? What was, what was the last one? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'll tell you when we get there. You have until then. Uh, because that's how much I'm going to use him too. Yeah. Nunchaku, I'll... I what I uh, I forget is Nunchaku an actual weapon you can use or you it's a throwing weapon. It's an actual weapon. They're actually more like tantas. You use it and he'll actually do a double strike attack with it. Huh. Okay. Unfortunately, because it's a double strike, it takes up both hands. And Shield Rod is infinitely better. 
Yes. <laughs> well, of course, you're saying it like the challenge to be a fair of the sh- force of the shield rod. Yeah. Uh, I forget. Does XP acquired for the sword happen only when he kills things or when you kill things? Whenever an enemy dies is when he counts it. Alucard's carrying his EXP share. Yeah. How nice of him. Shame it's not the EXP share off of freaking Gen 6, because then all his familiars could get leveled up at once. That would be pretty awesome, actually. Well, anyway, it's time to finally go underneath that bridge I just flew over. First? You'll get there eventually! Yeah. But what's, what's the pentagram do? It's a screen nuke, basically. It just creates an explosion on the screen and hits enemies. Anyway, pushing this button summons Donkey Kongs. First, yeah. One more secret. <laughs> this is the secret boots. Equipping them will make Alucard slightly taller by stretching his sprite. Anyway, compare his height right here. It very discreetly increased your type. You're now a taller vampire. Wait, is does it actually stretch your hitbox as well? Yes. Oh, this part. I used to hate this. Yep. So I gotta turn off the sword familiar because he will make this impossible. And let's meet our good friend, Donkey Kong. Yeah, you don't... <laughs> if you... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got it first try. Yeah. Not hard. And I missed that game. I used to own the GBA version of Donkey Kong. I love that game. Uh, which Donkey Kong are you talking about? Donkey Kong 94. You mean the Game Boy original? Yep. I'm sorry, I have three copies of ColecoVision, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Ew. Two more than necessary. Why? Because uh, why not? I have an Atari 26 version my... of Donkey Kong. It is as god-awful as you'd think it'd be. Because, um, let's see. Dad's ColecoVision had one. The ColecoVision we bought at a yard sale so that we could play ColecoVision had one because the, uh, power adapter for dads got fried and when my uncle gave us the 2600 adapter and all of his games he had two more copies yeah so we had four and three of them worked anyway that was the Cerberus boss fight as you can tell there's nothing to note about him yeah but I was going to I was going to I almost wanted to interrupt uh, chaos there because it took you a while to stop getting hit you were getting your ass kicked for a little while. Yeah, well, I thought you could actually damage his fireballs to get rid of them. And as it turned out, you can't. Oh, I hate these little guys, these uh, gremlins. Yeah. They fly around, they leave fire everywhere. Now let's meet our next familiar. General Nuisance. The aforementioned Devil. Who, dis- uh, despite being uh, a devil, demon kind of guy, he's actually very friendly. Yep. I thought he had something to say when he first spawned him, but he doesn't. He does sometimes, or at least he does in some versions of the game. Yeah, I've heard a couple things he has said. He can say things, I just thought if he has an initial summoning, like the sword and fairy do. Obviously the bat doesn't. Honestly, when you think about it, the sword shouldn't say anything either. At least the devil has a mouth. Actually, the sword does have a face on its hilt. I so wish I could put an explosion over that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm too lazy. Or, or, or even better, replaced his uh, vocals with Dee Dee. I was, I was thinking more as, as soon as he hit the switch. I was what thinking. What does this button do? Uh, oh yeah, either that or immediately after he hits the button, all you hear is do 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 do. Anyway, <laughs> this is the Ring of Aries. It gives you twenty-four strength at the cost of twenty-four defense. Twenty-four men, but 
20. Anyway, there is a secret I missed in this room. You can break the wall on the left to get to a couple random items. Eh, nothing worth getting, honestly. Actually, one of them is a Power of Sire. Oh, yeah. Isn't that like, another screen nuke? Yes, it's the most powerful screen nuke in the game, and there's only three of them. I get Duplicator, the other two, I just forgot go. that. Anyway, if you over here is our final shortcut. If you got a duplicator and a power for Sire, you are literally breaking the game. Yes. Even more so than usual. Anyway, this is the final warp. It's got the snake head, and that's going to be the part. You, yeah, we could tell you're just standing there, doing nothing in particular. Isn't it a nice warp point? It's such a nice warp point. Yep. Got a little detailing on that snake head. Mm-hmm.